Hey everyone, Austin with Sun Fun Kits. So I want to follow up on our video from last time. Uh, one of uh, the commenters had some interesting observations and some concerns, and I guess we want to sort of talk about uh, talk about that a little bit. Uh, so in the last video, uh, we used something like this where. It was a slightly undersized die, and the reason for that is because two six gauge cables are not exactly the same material as a single two gauge. So normally you can get away with, uh, you know, uh, with close enough. But the reason we went with two gauge because the material in it's slightly different. Now we did a little experiment, and let's just sort of look at the typical dies we have, like in our hydraulic press. So on the right, we have what, we, what was normally is a 25 millimeter die, and on the left is normally a 35. Now, when we're mailing our two gauge cables, this will do just fine. It uh, makes a pretty nice little crimp like this. And if you can actually use it to also make, uh, you know, six gauge. So we're gonna do a little experiment. So we actually crimped a couple of them. This is 35 millimeter die for a two gauge cable. Uh, this right here is, uh, I think this is, yeah, this is a 25 millimeter die. Uh, I'm sorry, no, this was actually the, t the top portion was 25, but the bottom was 35. So sort of like a hybrid. So we kind of, we did a crimp on that, see how that one lives. Uh, this is 25 above, 25 below. And this is basically 35 millimeter die above and 35 millimeter die below. So let's let's actually cut all four of them and see what it how it looks like on the inside, and sort of see what uh, what we can sort of extrapolate and what the best possible method is going to be. All right. So we just finished cutting them, and sort of let's just sort of kind of go over what we sort of found. All right. So we'll start off with the. 35 millimeter die on the two gauge copper cable. Pretty solid, no gaps, pretty good. And the other side, also um, solid, no real gaps. So yeah, pretty good. Then I believe this was the 25 millimeter one, <clears throat> almost like the one that uh, we would call overcrimped. So again, Nice, smooth, solid, uh, nothing there, but we do have those little bit of butterfly wing action going on. But as you can see, Crip is solid, so I think we'll be fine. And the other side, again, Crimp is solid, no problems, should be fine. But you do have, like I said, those little bit of a butterfly wing thing going on. Now this one was the hybrid where one side was 25 millimeter and the other was uh, 35. So it's kind of like a half uh, half situation. And you kind of see where one side of the wings are small and the other side of the wings are big. So the above was 25 millimeter and the bottom was 35 millimeter. So uh, that is how that one. So let's, you know, again, seems pretty nice. No real, you know, issue and also the front pretty nice okay now here was the 35 millimeter two and looking pretty nice I can't I'm not sure how well it's going to show up on camera but there seems to be a little more visible striations a bit on the uh, fiber I don't know if it'll pick up I don't think it's really going to be affected difference but Here's one thing we did notice. If you look, I don't know how well it's gonna pick up, but if you look on the other side, there were some gaps where maybe it had a little bit of things. And if you can kind of see on the edge right here, there's a little tiny gap. I don't know how well it's pick, picking up, but there's a little tiny gap on that side of the lug. I think in reality, you're not gonna be able to tell, but the third, when you're using two six gauge cables, you, and it's hard to really see, but they're on the edges of the, of the lug, 
um, there's little spaces, and I don't know how well it's going to pick up, uh, but there's a little bit of spaces on here. Overall, I don't think you'll find a difference between any method that you decide to go. Um, if you have access to 25 millimeter die, it'll still work. It'll make a little bit of butterfly wings. If you've got half and half, 25 and 35 millimeter will work. And uh, 35 millimeter will work as well. Uh, it'll probably make the most appealing uh, one. But uh, it works best when you have two gauge cable because that's really what it's worth. And when we crimp these two gauges, that's usually what we use. They work quite well. But since two six gauge cable is not an exact match, you can kind of play with it a bit. Maybe go up or down as needed. So it will really sort of depend. Uh, but I don't think you'll have a problem going either way. So uh, I forgot the username who pointed this out. Uh, potentially either one is there. Uh, this probably looks a little prettier, but I think if you don't have access to that die and you use a slightly smaller die, it will probably work. Uh, but you know, just remember six gauge is not an exact match. So depending on your setup, you may need to mix and match, but for the most part, they will make a good connection. All right. Thank you.